Okay. Oh, we should... <laughs> oh I should. Uh... Now, Paul Cummings, now with all his, his situation now, I mean, I, I, I can't believe he's going to be here today. He's not. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. He won't be here today. Let's I mean, see here. Cummings, now with all his. Yeah, hey, it's me. on. That was me. Hey. Oh, awesome. There we go. <laughs> Let's see here. So how is everybody? He's going to be here today. He's not. Yeah, that's right on. Yeah. I'm going to share for my, my, my place. All right. All right. Facebook. Okay, so so Lori Bohammer is watching on the Facebook. Tag me in. Uh, didn't you send her the... I, did you send her the... Yeah, I'm sure I did. Let's see here. Where? Somewhere. <laughs> You try having a stroke, you'll see where to share it. Let's see. I thought I sent it to her. Let's see. I'll find it. Are you going to do it, uh, Salute? Well, if you can do it, go ahead. <laughs> so sad. Okay, I know. Uh, Lori. See, look. I, I thought I did. Let's say you do it. That's good. I'm okay with that. Good. Is so, Melissa? Melissa, he's sending it to you again. Oh, I can do it. I just have to find it. <laughs> okay. And then I have to find it. Here it is. Okay. Now to uh, Melissa, right? Melissa. I can't believe I missed. You, you're sending it on Messenger, right? Yes. Okay. Melissa Overfield. Hey, Paul is saying, I am watching guys all the best. Paul, we're missing you. He's on Facebook. Oh, that's and great. we have some questions. So be ready while he's, you know, and we can start. So, um, so you all know, uh, I see that Brad is, uh, has muted himself and Paul Quillen. Wow. And I will Sorry. mute myself. No, no, it's good. It's fine. Okay. I'm, it's I, fine. I, I have this, well, I got school like eight hours, but I don't really talk. I'm an aide for regular teachers. So I don't really, so I, I'm a mute again. <laughs> but you oh. know, and you're gonna have to unmute yourself eventually. So the first question. Well, here comes is, lovely Alex. Hello, Alex. Hey, hey. Bon, bonsoir, but is it awesome. nighttime? Um, oh, night night. Bon night night. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the UK, but I know that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How do you say good evening? Because you're evening right now there. Yes. Well, in the UK. Bonsoir. Oh, I was, did I say that? I said bonsoir. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! <-hoo -hoo> <laughs> yeah, Friday night. Yeah, good. <laughs> That is so exciting. Hey now. <laughs> oh, I like it. Brad is here and there too. Me too. And yes. Um, yes. So, and Ken and Melissa are here. Yay, yay, yay. So the first question, guys, and then uh -oh. we'll take turns. And I'll put it in here also, just in case they miss it, is <laughs> which way which would you like? fluently and why? Who would like to answer that first? Raise your hand. One more time. I, I can't Nobody hear Nobody yet? Do it again. Okay. Who, which language? Uh, Jerry, can you type it into the, into the chat? Which language would you like to speak fluently and why? And then when you're ready, Raise your hand and I'll type it in here too. So you got it? So Brad, you're on. English. <laughs> I need wow. English for 20, 20, 22 years ago when I was pretty good and that was not good. So English. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Me too. 
uh, and who else? Okay, Jerry, I have to type in the question here. So can you do the next call of somebody, please? Uh, okay, who wants to answer that? The next Michelle. one. Michelle. Michelle. All right. Here. Yes, I'm here. Um, I like the, I like English too. That was funny. That was funny. Um, uh, Aloha. I like that one. It's funny. Well, Aloha or my color. It's <laughs> uh, it's like right there. Um, it's ethnic color. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ethnic color <laughs> and uh. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Is that, hello. No, it's not right. That's not right. You can just tell. Spanish? <sighs> yes. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Is I'm a teacher. I know how to do this. So who else? Who's next? Next one. Anybody? Oh, I'm not sure. English is fine for me. Oh, sorry, salute. Awesome, though. Okay, oh. I'll go. <laughs> um, I would like, I, I can sp Spanish. So many twists to it anyway, too. And, and, and so I would like to be able to speak it because fluently because I actually majored in it and I was a bilingual teacher. So the thing is, is that um, if you don't use it, you lose it. So yes, I would like to continue speaking Spanish fluently. My, 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 my uh, Alex. four years for my son for high school and he had Spanish and uh, now he don't do can't do nothing. California would be majority Spanish. A couple of years. I'll switch. So, so Alex raised her. Yes. Okay, let, let's hear Alex. <laughs> How are you? I yes, I'm good and you. Good, good. Okay. Uh, Spanish, English, and Hindi. But you you're working on. Yes, yes. Hindu, Hindu right? Yes. Hindi. Hindi. Yes. Hindu is uh, religion. Wow. Uh, my my Indian a neighbor is Hindu. Oh. Hmm. Very Ter terrific. Good for you, because you already speak more languages than well, a lot more than me. I barely can speak English, but you know. <laughs> Good for you. I, I, yeah. I was a translator, so that's why. Wow. Right. Excellent. An answer on Facebook. Uh, Susan Janine Kelsey said, Spanish, my true love of my life is a Cuban American. Oh. oh. So oh. Uh, that's really sweet, Susan. Um, so her true love in life is a Cuban American. Nice, so she nice. be able to speak more fluently with him. Okay, what about Lynette? You know the question? You're mute. No. Um, no, I didn't. Oh, uh, it's okay. We just we just want to know what language would you like to speak and why? Fluently. Fluently. <laughs> English. Yeah. Um, I guess now it would be Spanish because it's you're going to have to. Um, you run into more that you need it. Not so much right here, but 
there's more reasons you need Spanish. Very good. Especially out here in Texas. Yeah, see, you know, and, and I have relatives that are married to um, Mexicans that uh, it would be nice. Yes, it would. Well, but around here, around here, you don't need it. You have very little um, Spanish. Hmm. Well, that's good. You don't have to learn it then for now. But not right where I live. I mean, you'd have to go... Uh, but like I said, there you the, you know there's more people that are doing Spanish that you would that was that would be the language I would think you would need to use. That's true. Very true. Yeah. And I think uh, if I had to, I'd love to learn French. Then I can speak to Alex so fluently. I feel like I'm like a I don't know anything. You know. Well, Alex can do it. She knows. I, yes. Yeah. Talk to me in French. Uh, write it to me. And wow, such a lovely language, French. Yeah. You know, just so. Ah. So, you know, a Romance language. You know, like French, Spanish. Mm -hmm. And Italian, I think, one of those. Anyway, oh. it's because I can I can speak Spanish, and when I'm in France, I can read it uh, and yes. stand it. Yes, and then in Portugal, even though it's you know it's completely different. Oh no, in in Italy, um, because of my Spanish, I was actually able to understand and speak to the people there. And, in, you know, so it is really great to be able to speak yes. more than English. <laughs> yeah. You, you I know we're all, still, we're all still learning English. <laughs> it's a difficult language. You don't, you know, uh, salute. Yes. You, you don't speak that um, Spanish is a bit like uh, Portuguese uh, when um, reading not when speaking was no and and then also i grew i mean i was born in the philippines and so the language the main language there is tagalog and a lot of some people say tagalog but it's tagalog and i probably am mispronouncing it also but it is um it has a lot of spanish influence in it since the spaniards uh discovered the philippines oh. you know so um, so I typed in, but you know, there's a, still a few people, uh, Janice, uh, Jana, I don't, I'm on my, I'm on my iPad, so I don't yeah. get to see everybody, but and we Ken. still have, uh, yeah, and Jana, and Janice. And Ken okay. and Melissa. Then, so who wants to go next? Yeah. J Janice, right? I'm here, yeah. The question was, if you could speak any language fluently, which one would it be? Um, Greek. Greek, because I love going to Greece. And it would help. <laughs> so, it would help a, help a lot. <laughs> yeah. As long uh, as I can order Uzo in Greek. Or, yeah. Oh, or yeah. Mine, you know. <laughs> Can I order a wine in Greek would be really helpful. Or... <laughs> Uzo, I've had that. Yeah, that's, that's really, I like Uzo. Yeah. It's strong, but it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the more you drink, the nicer it gets. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think uh, if I could learn the language, but I do already speak two languages. Really? I speak Jody, which is our local dialect which nobody understands in any other part of England. 
It's yeah. very local to our area, and obviously English. But for Geordie, it would be, are you going yem? And that ah. means, are you going home? <laughs> <laughs> but locally, we would say, are you going yem? <laughs> so it's a very strong dialect in words, just to our local area in the Northeast. Wow. Is that like in... in where um united states slang yes yes it's geordie slang yeah uh, oh so oh, Danny, if, you are, if you are born within the site of the tyne bridge you are geordie true geordie on the river tyne if you are born within the river tyne you are true geordie so ah, awesome. i'm a true geordie <laughs> good for you i know <laughs> You know, Brad. I yeah. never know that. Yeah. You know, no. Yeah. How about Jana? Um, never just stayed She's not. Couldn't hear you. I grew up in Western, so we didn't learn it. Ah. Oh. But didn't she learn? Something that I couldn't hear. But you said, huh? <laughs> That's what I said, huh? Jana, we couldn't understand you. You were sort of warbly. That's weird. I said French. Oh, another one. <laughs> yeah, just because where I live. So, because I didn't learn it because I grew in Western Canada. So, Eastern Canada is more predominant to French. Hmm. So. Well, good. And I know we're getting. How about Ken and Melissa? Ken, come on, Ken. I probably say Spanish. Oh, good. Seems uh, like that's going to be coming in handy more than anything other. Correct. Than English. But you know, I would, oh, I would say um, Spanish. And when I was in high school, I wanted, I, I was going to take French. I wanted to learn French, but I took. Six weeks of that and went, no, I can't do French. Wow. <laughs> so I, um, I was like, that's, that's, this is going to be too hard. I, I'm not real good with other languages. And so. Or English. Or English, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and um, my granddaughter is, uh, speaks Spanish. She's Mexican. So I was, um, she's half. Um, and she uh, she doesn't she understands it more than she speaks it, so it'd be nice to actually help her like with and and be able to speak yeah. what her other yeah. grandmother and and just know the language. I understand that. You know, it's really funny. Um, I just have to go back to Alex real quick. Is Alex, you're learning all these like like exotic languages. I have an uncle who's a neurophysicist can't even say it. But he said, if you can learn an exotic language like Hindu, uh, uh, Korean, or something that is not a lot of people know, you can make a ton of money in the government to, uh, as a translator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But, so, huh. <laughs> not going to work for the government, I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, so did we go through everybody that's on the Zoom? I think so. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. All right. So on, on the Facebook, I already typed it in, and Jerry, I asked you to type in the question. <laughs> I into saw. The chat. I okay. saw. No, he didn't type it in. I typed it into the Facebook. No, you did. Thing. I saw. I saw you did it. Brad. Yeah. Brad. <laughs> he, he I typed not like you. I know you. I know you. I saw you did this. Not I know, but asking Jerry to type it into oh. the Zoom chat. Well, I don't need to. Oh, oh. Well, I'll just say the anyway. Zoom chat, so that okay. the people here can see it. <laughs> By the time I type so the it second, in, thank you. That's okay. We're gonna we're Speak gonna do it in. for uh, Zoom. The second. I don't know. I'm the dead. second question. The second question is. Um, so that you all can get ready, but there's somebody already that answered it because I typed it into the Facebook stream. 
Question number two is, oh. what was your favorite childhood meal? So this is question number two. What was your favorite childhood meal? And already Susan, Janine, Kelsey uh, wrote, favorite meal was liver, onions, and spinach. Uh -huh. It wasn't very popular with my siblings. Uh, that was cute. Yeah. And then uh, Sunshine Sweeter, okay. Sweet Water. Is, uh, answered the first question Spanish for sure my husband is Cuban and Spanish is everywhere in the US so you know so that was sunshine and Paul tried to log in on his phone but I guess he couldn't so he said bye and let's see uh, that's it Friend, a good friend of mine right there, Francis, is watching. Eh, I thought I'd throw that out there. Okay. Okay, so who's first? Did you type it into the chat? Just no. in case somebody forgot? God. It's a lot of work, somebody, please. Somebody, uh, somebody that knows how to type. <laughs> Can you please type in question number two? Question number two, just in case you forget, is what was your favorite childhood meal? Okay, thank you. I think Janice is doing it, right, Janice? Oh, you are, okay, so good. Uh, that. Thank I, was you. Getting, I was getting close, so. Eh. <laughs> what was your well, salute? What, my favorite childhood meal? Yes. Well, <laughs> everything that my grandma made. Yeah. I love my grandma always cooked and it, was, it is Filipino food. So, you know, anything, anything that she made. But uh, I do love liver and onions. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Susan, uh, I love liver uh, and onions. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's good for you. Oh, I know everything's good for you. That you yeah, I know. Mine is chicken cacciatore. Your favorite childhood meal, favorite meal? Oh, yeah, that fettuccine. Lasagna. Um, you don't know what kitchen catch it? <laughs> chicken yes, catchatory. I know what it is. Oh, I'm my just mother made it the best. Child, no, I'm <laughs> I was a child, kind of am still. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> Who's next? Who's ready to answer? Uh, Raise your hand. Janice. Oh, Janice. <clears throat> Fish and chips. Oh, and that doesn't fish. surprise me. <laughs> Do you like what did vinegar? You say? <coughs> Excuse me. When we were small, we used to eat tripe. Have you heard of tripe? I love tripe. I did when I was small. I can't do it now. <laughs> no, but we used to eat it. it but now, when I think about it. Did you like it, Salud? Did you like I it love that? it. I still love it. No. I eat all kinds of crazy things. So I did enjoy that? it, but not now. And tripe, it's it's sheep stomach, isn't it, Salud? It's stomach. It's it's the lining, yeah. The lining like of the chewiness. Stomach. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. it's, it's got the little you know, honeycomb. <coughs> I, okay, I think Alex was next. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, sp spinach and oh, wow. and potato and loafing coke. <laughs> well, <laughs> potato, uh, spinach, and something else. I missed the other thing. Yeah, uh, potato in for um in bowl shape. Yeah. And oh, no. laughing coal. Laughing coal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry, I missed that one again. You're talking to a bunch of uh, Americans, <laughs> <laughs> but Janice is also going, huh? Can, can you type it into the, uh, into the chat, okay. Alex? Because sometimes, sometimes if we, then we can Google it. Somebody oh. is your job. Google it. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> because this is, this is a great way to learn about different foods, right? Yes. Janice, we can't hear you because you're muted. I, I saw your mouth moving. Your mouth is I moving. Just said, <laughs> it's nice learning about different cultures and yeah. Yes. Okay, well, we're, we're waiting for, you know, uh, in the Philippines, we have uh, lechon, which is a pig. <laughs> and, and, and it's, it's, it's got really, um, the way it's cooked and everything, it, it, the skin, we always just go. And laughing cow. Oh, laughing cow. Is that no. cheese? Is that cheese? Yes. Yes. Uh, we have that too. <laughs> we have a lot. They come okay. in like little diamonds. Kind yes. of little, yeah. yeah. See, I, I, I'm good at French. <laughs> uh, okay. Is it, is it, yeah. Is it, um, is that just called laughing cow? Yes. Okay. There, yeah. That's one type of cheese. It comes in a little round container. And then, yeah, yeah look at this. Oh. And then little <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Laughing cow. Nice. <laughs> yeah, we put that, we, we do cauliflower pizza a lot. And uh, that's the cheese that we put on. Ah. But, okay. but not for my daughters or whatever. They want all the big piles of cheese, the good cheese. Okay. But I, I have to have the laughing cow. What's so laughing cow isn't good cheese no it's real i'm just saying it's, it's, it's i think it's healthier i'm teasing you, you. teasing mm. you uh, <laughs> susan susan janine kelsey remember she's the uh, the uh liver and onions and spinach yeah okay she now says now my favorite homemade cuban enchiladas mm. Mm. You know, are we all hungry now? <laughs> Who else? Uh, well, who's next? Oh. I'll go. Lynette. Go ahead, Lynette. My mother, Lynette. Was, a, my mother was a great cook, a great farm country cook. Uh, we butchered her own meat, and dad would always have big round steaks. I mean, they would be huge, uh, bigger than meat platter, this round steak. And my mother would cut it up, and the steak would feel uh, a flat cake pan size. Wow. And she would make uh, baked mushroom and gravy uh, with mushrooms and onions, gravy, baked steak and mashed potatoes and uh, green beans and corn on the cob. And when mm. I had my first brain surgery, after I'd been in the hospital 20 some more days, uh, when I got home, not that night, but the next Sunday, mom and dad come and got me and uh, mom had baked steak and everything and candles and all this for Sunday dinner. Nice. But I also loved her porcupine meatballs. Porcupine? Yes, porcupine meatballs. That must be sharp. <laughs> Is no, that with the French things, yeah, French onion, it, rice? It's, it's got rice in it. Oh, rice, okay. Instead of breadcrumbs, you use rice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Her, 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 she made delicious porcupine meatballs. <laughs> I love it. it. Just sounds funny. Porcupine meatballs. Is that that's not porcupine the animal, is it? <laughs> no, no, oh. no, no. It was made with beef, and <laughs> instead of using breadcrumbs, you use rice. Wow. Good Sunday meals at your house. So I think Melissa oh, had said that she wanted meal. to answer. I think Melissa. Oh, Ken and Melissa. 
You're on stage. Yeah, Melissa, was that you? You want to go first? Uh, pot roast. Yeah, I think pot roast. Both of us grew up. Pot roast was like a Sunday meal. And it was really good with um, potatoes and carrots and stuff. Carrots, mm. potatoes. Yeah, I make it now with um, Brussels sprouts and carrots and potatoes. But that would be one of like a specialty meal that I also like. Came to mind at first till he said pot roast. Um, my mom used to make um, cabbage rolls, stuffed mm. cabbage rolls. And they were so good. Meatloaf would be a close second. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's his next favorite. <laughs> I love meatloaf. Still is. <laughs> Not even, is his childhood and still is. <laughs> Not a lot I don't like. I love everything. Delivered onions. Mm. Log off because off here because her camera was not working right. Uh, so she, number two, she said macaroni and tomatoes. And mm -hmm. Teresa is on the Facebook. And you guys on on the Facebook streaming. If well, we're almost anyway. Well, if you want to come um, in, yeah. Recall it. Absolute. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Paul, what about you? What's your and favorite? So Teresa, Teresa likes cheeseburger, cheeseburgers and French fries. May I just finish the, the Facebook ones? Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so Teresa Santi. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> tea. Cheeseburgers and French fries. And then Susan said no porcupines were harmed in the you know, your meatballs and she she had the laughing thing she knew that you know so yeah i i thought it was you know those um those cans of the french onion mm. the fried french onions maybe that was the porcupine part but she explained it it was with rice yeah so yeah. sorry paul Thanks. okay paul you're on stage oh, probably uh shepherd's pie Oh, ooh, ooh, that's yes. good. That's a good one. Mm. <laughs> yeah, a good uh, fall time meal. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, or pop pie. Uh, did we ever get to Michelle? Hello. <laughs> um, I like uh, is a burrito that's my favorite that's it's go like really uh fattening it tastes good fattening <laughs> oh it's good it's good <laughs> awesome all right good stuff so there we go out saloon yes well, we have another question yes i know you want me to read it? <laughs> and Janice, are you ready to type it in just in case? <laughs> because uh, I already, oh, no, I didn't already put it in. Sorry, Facebook uh, live stream. Your third question is there already. So the third question is, what one goal do you, I changed the words a little bit. What one goal do you envision accomplishing this year? It said hope, but it's like envision it. You know, you're finishing it, you're doing it, you know, so, so what one goal, oh, and then Melissa uh, put in here fried chicken. I see that. She put in the, uh, the, in the chat here. And I don't think anybody else answered that. So, oh, thank you, uh, Janice. What one goal do you envision? So if you forget, it's in there. So Michelle has her hand raised. Yep. Hope is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. I'm going to have to type that and tag uh, 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 Paul Cummings because he's yes. there. <laughs> I mean, he's not in there, but, you know. Okay, who's next on this? So Kate, you. <laughs> What's that? And real quick, I see Don Ogan. Thank it's up you. to you, buddy. Okay, who, who's next? Anybody? Going once? Going twice? Come on. 
<laughs> Alex, you're looking like you want to tell us. No, <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> I, <laughs> my my hand. Yes. Yeah. Did everybody but get that? It on it, its way. Yes. My, my end back. Are you doing a lot of like hand therapy, a little uh, fine motor skills stuff? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I should be doing more. I'm guilty. Mm. You have an occupational therapist? I do, but I, I don't go just because I don't want to take a chance with this COVID. But, uh, you know, I, I've been using this little uh, Modus Nova machine. If you, I don't know if you've seen it. Ah, yeah. yeah, that thing is, it's, it, really, it gives you a lot of range of motion, at least for me, to, you know, move your wrist. and. Mm. Yeah. I, 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 I search on the internet um, where could I buy uh, one, but it, it's only in America. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we yeah, they, they are right now. But because of um, their lawyers about some kind of thing about shipping them to other countries, a few of them are out there. But uh, but you're right, they should be everywhere because they it really is good. They have another one too with the a foot mentor does your foot thing too. But anyway, okay, who's next? I'm, who's next? Anybody? Okay, while they're thinking, here's another answer for number three, Susan. And Susan's on it, because of course I got the question in there already. Yes. I look forward, I look forward to walking better and want to help inspire others to be adventurous with their recovery too. So again, I look forward to walking better and I want to help inspire others to be adventurous too. And then um, John, Loomis is in there and he says it looks like a full room but you know anybody that's on the Facebook streaming you can answer the questions also please and I will go in here and interrupt everybody well we're used to that but anyway <laughs> so Lou, um, we can have just John if you're listening we can put up to a hundred people in this room we'll look, be look it'll be really tiny but yeah I'll have a uh, 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 salute send you the link thanks salute <laughs> I was going to say, anybody that on, that's on the Facebook streaming, you can answer it because you know what's great? I love it that some people that are on the Zoom are also answering there. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, Just have fun it? typing it in. And actually, Michelle, I shared your answer onto the Facebook stream and I tagged Paul Cummings. Hope it's on the way. So I did that. Okay. Hello, Farron. So who's next on this? Wonderful question. There you go, Lynette, drum roll. Get my balance back to where it was before I fell and maybe even better and be able to walk better. Yeah. Feel safer, feel safer. Yeah. Can I just say, do you ever, like for me, do you ever feel safe when you start to feel like, oh, okay, I can do this, I can do that, and they fall and break your head, like me? Yeah, I don't know. One thing, I don't, I don't dwell on and worry about having another stroke, even though I've had eight, because I can't live in fear. Right. So maybe that is the same with falling. We can't live in fear that we have to be careful. Yes. You just have to learn how to fall. You, well, yeah. <laughs> no, for me, I mean. All right. Learn how to move probably so we don't fall. Yes, exactly. So true. So Jana answered on, on the stream, Jana Musso, uh, she answered to focus on self-care and build a spot for my business in my yard. And so John Loomis, if you wanna answer any of those questions, uh, they're in there. What's your favorite uh, childhood meal? 
which language would you like to speak fluently and what one goal do you envision accomplishing this year? So everybody hop. Hop to it, who's next? I want to get my hand working better. That's it, that's a, that's a great goal. Every day, little steps. Learning hand, teaching hand. My learning hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your learning hand going better. This is it. You got to do those work. <laughs> okay, who's That's right, Melissa. Uh, uh, anyone have a hand up? Hey, Jerry, how about you? What's your, did you say yours? Yeah, you know, I, no, but mine is, I think for me, it's just, um, you know, I post those videos of me walking oh, and doing things. And I, the only reason I do that, I look back and I go, wow, I'm doing this wrong or I'm doing this right. I'm, you know, I'm walking more like a penguin or whatever. So I just need to get better at everything. It's a lofty goal, but it, you know, that's my goal. I'm sticking to it. Okay, salute. Paul. She didn't like mine. Go ahead, Paul. <laughs> oh, okay, probably just my fine motor skills in my uh, teaching, no, learning hand. Just try and get those to, uh, you know, just a little bit every day, just try and strengthen my muscles. Yeah. And of course, all the different angles on your thumb, that's difficult. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, just one step at a time, one day. Excellent. Uh, Brad, I think you're wanting to put your two that, cents in. That that was my girlfriend, so I was kissing for her. Oh, I thought you're kissing us. Well, you know, I I'll, I'll kiss. Yes. <laughs> I thought good. you were waving at us. <laughs> Me too. That's no, how I was doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> she she's she's wonderful to me so I that's mean, awesome. she's she helped me she's uh my uh pharmacist and she's been with me close for like five years oh nice and, nice and, and and she is awesome, awesome. you're rock yes she's my rock correct awesome Gotta have a rock in the family. Yep. Sometimes I'll see you guys you can be right behind me. You can see you got her and me together. Wow. Terrific. So Naomi typed in here, sorry I missed today, took Jean out of town. And that's so important to just get a fresh look at something else. So we we miss you, Naomi, but so she's on on the stream. <laughs> Can I just interrupt? I, Farron, if you know Farron and Serena, everybody probably does. Farron says, laughing out loud, Lynette, I live in fear of Serena. <laughs> 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 uh, it's why. either that or she fears that she's going to, you know, it's like, is she going to slap him silly or <laughs> is he in fear that she's going to oh, do something? Funny. Yeah. We're not putting that out there. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Who else? Oh, oh Michelle. Uh, Michelle has hand raised. Yes. Okay, Michelle. No. You're up. Michelle? I can't read lips. No, she's saying no. Oh. Oh. She muted herself. Okay. I think she was just excited. She's dancing. Hi. Let's all. Hey. <laughs> all right. What is your question? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what goal do you envision, right? Uh, oh, wait. It's up here. Let's see. It's in the chat. <laughs> what, what one goal do you envision this year? Oh, to accomplish. I want to read. 
I want to read. I love for I like to read. Awesome. Terrific. Yeah. So do you do you uh um, that's it <laughs> or something or or does it just give you headaches after you I like to read the books. I like to read the books, uh paper, um anything to do with books. That's like really important. And um is the words I, I love the words it's like just like yeah it's good good okay uh, did, did we cover everybody i think so uh janice has her hand raised oh our goal because with john and i We've both been shielding with the COVID. So our government told us to stay in from March and we've only just started to go out. So I still haven't got John outside yet. And we it's it's a lot to build up when you've been in the house for so long. Yeah. You have to build that confidence back up. I agree. Um, so hopefully, touch wood that we will get back to normal by the end of the year. <laughs> Knock on wood. No, I agree. Uh, because it's, we've been in the house yeah, for a month. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. It, it does take a lot of your confidence away when you haven't been outside. Yeah. So hopefully with, if the COVID behaves, we should get back out and get back to normal again. You were able to get out yourself. I know not John. Oh. Yeah, Oops. and get and so it's that's our goal really for this year, just to get kind of back to a normality. <clears throat> so, and I think John would like a break because he's been so with Janice, I, I'm so day. <laughs> twenty four hours a day, seven days a week for six months. <laughs> <laughs> I think John, I think John would like a break. <laughs> so. But that's our goal, to just try and get back to some normality after the COVID disaster. So, exactly. Yeah. So there are some people that answered on the Facebook stream, and then I'll I'll get back with Janice. Sorry, Janice. I I guess there was like a lag or something, and I thought you'd be done, and then I and then I would start, you know, uh, <laughs> commenting on yours. But okay. So anyway, Teresa uh, Santi said, watching everyone exercise and practicing is fun and encouraging. I love the learning and teaching hand exercises, Lude. I have trouble with my right hand and arm. I would like my right hand back ASAP. And Brooke Allen said, hi everyone, I'm at the gym. LOL, I do a book club for aphasia on Friday. It's awesome. And uh, Naomi said, Jean's goal is to live until our 50th anniversary party next year. And Brooke Allen says, I want to run by May. Let me see if anybody else. Um, no others. Okay. So, so anyway, um, let's see. With Janice, you know, and I know that, you know, I just take Tom no matter what. As soon as California said uh, they, they opened up some places, we still stayed with the masks yes. and, and I kept them away and everything. Always. But I need it for myself. And yes. so, and it's, you know, we're all different, you know, and, 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 and you know, I am his 24 seven caregiver and I am trusting that he is sitting in there and not being Houdini mm -hmm. and he knows he's in big trouble if he does anything <laughs> uh, but the thing is is that um, uh, he's having his procedure tomorrow and I talked to his uh, his uh, primary care doctor and he and and she says so when are you leaving again because <laughs> he's having his procedure tomorrow and they'll find out what kind of infection is in his spine and it's 
and it's like, uh, I hope there's enough time for them to do any kind of treatment already before we leave again. Oh, well, you know, I've always believed we have to live life. Yes. And yes, there is a little bit of fear right now just because of the COVID. But, um, but you know, we, we um, I'm in fear of Tom, like, we've been very fortunate that he hasn't broken anything. I've shared that, but uh, it's like, well, hey, you end up in the hospital, I'm gone. No, it's, <laughs> I, I can't be there, right? So we take yeah. the time and yes, I think, <laughs> I think the caregiver and the loved one needs a break from each other sometimes, yes. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I don't get it. Did I miss something? Yes, you missed something. You need to give Barb a break. <laughs> Get, send her to the spa or somewhere. Uh, <laughs> she won't go because of this so, COVID thing. She won't? Oh, no. Oh, so, so many people. Oh, oh I see. Janice, oh, that's great. You're watching there, too. Uh, you know what? Let me read all the people that are watching on, on the face uh, thing people that have already been commenting and I really congratulate everybody that's answering. Thank you. And Bo, Larice Belante is watching. Um, Mary Glossick. And anytime any of you, if, if um, you don't get the link, if you can message, probably message me before it starts, then that way I'm not cuckoo and hopefully get you the link beforehand. And let's see who else is watching. Hopefully. So everybody else, I think, are ready. Oh, Kelly Trimmer <laughs> is watching. Hello, Kelly. Hello, and, Kelly. And Teresa agrees 100%. Hey. Oh, hey, so, so she, and she, she actually ex explained herself. Caregivers need a break. Thank you, hey. Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thanking her for Melissa, Janice, Naomi, myself, and anybody else. We love all of you, but you know what? You guys need a break from us, and we need a little break I also. Agree. I agree. Yeah, and I just take Tom with me. So he, so the, the only time he gets a break is when he goes back into the hospital. Maybe he's doing that, that on purpose. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kim was you know I, saying amen. You know, serious <laughs> there. So what else is going on with hey, Jerry? Who else? Uh oh, am I in trouble? No. Yes. Did you answer your? Did you answer the? You did. Yes. Yeah. What you weren't paying it? attention, but that, I don't know. You don't pay attention to me. So sad. Stilettos. <laughs> Yeah, what? Ken wants to know about your stilettos. How did that ever come up? <laughs> that was Yvonne Kent Pateras. <laughs> but the stiletto. Oh, I know why. Because someone talked about what you can wear heels. And I just mentioned, you know, dress shoes for me have heels. Yeah, everybody, right? Guys know that. And I can't wear those anymore that little heel i'm like hopping so uh, so now they're saying i wear stilettos but if, you know what i have thick skin i don't care i mean yeah. after having a stroke you know where's your pride does it matter yeah me too so, oh I, I, I well, well, I'm is doing hey, Jerry. homework with her son yes wonderful I, was Alex was talking, I think. I, I can't Are we freezing? Yes. Wait, Alex is talking. You're freezing. Okay. <laughs> I can't wear ears. Yes. Oh, really? No. Because my foot is um, shaky. Yes. And I can't for the moment. For the yeah. moment. Yeah, that's, I know, even, I couldn't imagine how women could wear those big heels, yeah. especially after a stroke. I mean, me with just a dress shoe. Yeah. You know, they're tiny little heels. 
that was good because I, I'm small. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is good. Not mm -hmm. not hard to fall, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I know the meters, but I don't know the inches. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, for yourself. Yes. Yeah. We, um, you got a measuring tape? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can't um, <laughs> see you on the conversion. Right? Oh, the conversion on that. Yeah. The conversion. <laughs> But yeah, Janice, Janice, you 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 will know. Um, you know the um, how do you say your height, meters or inches? Feet. Ah, uh, feet. Sorry, feet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah feet. Ah, ah, height. Feet. Yes, height. Five yes. foot. Well, I'm five foot one inch. Oh, but you you're not from England. Me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I am from London. <laughs> I'm in Newcastle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, six four. Six. So Jan we have five minutes, but Jana just put in a question. I have a question for survivors. Can you put on a glove? A mitten. So we only have five minutes left. Uh, so John, can I put in a glove? Yeah. Michelle, can you put on a glove? Glove? Yes, Michelle can put on a glove. So Jana, uh, oh, so I yes. have 75 centimeters. Yeah. Okay, so Paul put it into. Oh. 175, 5, 9. Oh, that's perfect. Can you put on a glove? Yeah. Yes, no? Yeah. That's what I do it. Can. Brad, so can you put, put on a glove? A glove. On. What's a glove? You, to me. Okay. you know a glove. Put on your hand. Wait, I might have a glove it's right not, here. It's uh, not Michael Jackson. I, I don't know. <laughs> And I figure that um, Lynette probably can put on a glove because she's yeah, very dexterous, you know, with her fingers doing baskets and everything. Wow. Yeah, wow. because that was really good work. And then she also picked up the dimes and pennies. We have three minutes to get uh, on, off, yeah. and, and get on to uh, Dr. Karen Sullivan. I care for your brain, I C S Y B. And if no, if uh, uh, those that signed up for the uh, webinar, it starts tomorrow at 6 p.m. No, whatever time p.m. Uh, I just know it's one o'clock our time here. So it must be four o'clock. It's yeah, I think it's the hour later. Here it's five o'clock. Huh? Huh? It, it, yeah, she's the same so time as us. No. Oh, you're as confused as I am. <laughs> I'm talking about Jerry. It's one to two thirty my time here. Okay. So whatever time it is to everybody else. We all got an email if you signed up. Yeah. So anyway, um, oh here, wait a minute, one more. Teresa said, no more heels for me, flat shoes only. It was a little sad giving away my pretty shoes with high heels. Oh, well, flat shoes work too. I can put on a glove, yes. Have a great week, everybody. See you next week, bye-bye. And see everybody else. And this was great, you guys. And uh, have prayers for everyone in the path of the, um, the hurricanes. And then also for everyone here on the West Coast or wherever else the fires are. I know California, up and down California, Washington, um, where else? Oregon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Le yeah. Lynette, Brad, Ken and Melissa, Janice, Alex, Paul, Salud, Jerry, and Michelle. You guys have a great rest of your evening. And thank you. And we'll do this next night. Good night. So oh, nice you. Time glad you. you got to see me. <laughs> what, what's your nephew say? 
Uh, glad to meet me. Glad to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> glad you got to see me. That's what his nephew says. <laughs> <laughs>